Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to show you all the new Dollar Tree Easter and like spring goodies that I found. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. So in today's video, again, I'm going to try not to edit this just because it's probably easier for a viewer and easier for me. So let's just dive right in and not waste any time. Now, I picked a few things up a, like a week ago, um, but I'll mention that. So th these two are of those items. I had already grabbed these for my daughter. She loves stuff like this. They're just the wooden little... DIY signs and then like the little details are raised so the eggs and like the bunnies I don't know if you can see that but it's kind of got like a little 3d effect which she just thinks is so cool so picked up one of each of those I also picked up the dog nail clippers because everybody kept telling me get the dog nail clippers they work good to cut wire and skewers and all kinds of things so I picked these up to give them a try so that is the dog nail clippers but that's not a new item all right so these are definitely new now it is a set so it's the spring makes me smile with the teal buffalo check look how pretty that is the um yellow and teal flowers Oop, with a little bit of greenery sorry guys my camera like makes me get close to it and then it'll focus so i found the oven mitt the towel and i found the glasses that go with it they also had a bunch of different color glasses and bowls um i think they had orange teal I can't, I can't remember if i can find a clip for you guys i'll put it up on screen also right now i'm like sitting on my legs um it's not very comfortable so i'm probably gonna like move all around in this video and i'm sorry for that also i don't have my earpiece it's dead so i do have my phone on because i have kids and i have to be able to be reachable for them so i found a ton of new ribbons now i didn't pick up all of them again i will insert a clip because i did get anything that i saw that i wanted to show you guys but that i didn't pick up because i don't have the room for all of this stuff um i will insert clips so here is the ribbons that i did pick up there is a pink the little teal truck with the bunny hanging out in the back and the carrots he's so cute um the rabbits very colorful gorgeous and then this one i think this is an old one yeah it is this is an old one but i figured for my girl's room um somebody must have just like put this in the wrong spot but i don't know i just picked it up because it's pink and i thought it was super cute so anyway those are the ribbons that I picked up. Isn't that bunny so cute back there? I hope you can see that. Anyway, aren't these gorgeous? I think I did pick up some smaller ones, so we'll get to that in just a second. Oh, I did pick up one of each, but for the trucks, I did pick up two. And this brand, Ofray, Ofray, that's Walmart brand. So... I never seen that brand at Dollar Tree before, but I, ha I see it all the time at Walmart, and I know for a fact because I have ribbons from Walmart that is that brand. Um, now it's not a very big roll; it's only six feet. You could probably get maybe two to three bows out of that. Maybe I'm not really sure, but I did pick up two of the trucks, one of each of the others. The next item I picked up were these Easter lights. Um, happy easter led lights so i picked up two of the egg shaped ones because i have a idea for these so i picked up two packs of those and they're those pretty pastel colors the um green blue pink yellow super pretty and super spring colors <laughs> say that 10 times fast okay and then for my daughter because i knew as so as soon as she saw me open those she was gonna want her own pack so i picked up the little bunnies for her now these colors are a bit more deep um 
I will pull them out and like get clips for you just so you can see them up close. They are the same colors, they're just like darker colors, if that makes sense. I don't know if you can see in there. Anyway, I'll pop up a clip here, there, or somewhere. <laughs> um, again, the next items I picked up are for my daughter. I love getting stuff for her at Dollar Tree. It just keeps her occupied. You know, she's just having one of those days where she needs, like, something extra to do. I always have plenty of stuff to just grab and be like, here, look how cute this is, blah, blah, blah. You know how kids are. They get overly excited over small stuff. So I picked her up the Egg and the Bunny Ceramic Painting Set. So these are not new. I've seen these for several years now. But again, these would be perfect in Easter baskets or um, I like to put together little, I think I've talked about it before, but I put together little bags, little goodies for like on days when I think she's doing a really good job and I'm like, here, you know, you're doing a good job. Here's a little treat. And I just like put cute little DIY stuff, you know, girly stuff. She's super into DIY like her mom, so she's an easy one. So this is another one of those. It's a paint set. It's got the little gnome on there with the little saying. He says, have an extra happy Easter. <laughs> the sayings are always so cheesy, but they're super cute, especially for kids. And I thought that little easel was cute. Like, if you have something small you need to display and like it won't stand upright or whatever you could grab this paint that easel black or white distress it whatever and then you have a cute little stand so it, it's not necessarily for kids or just to put this on there you could put whatever you want on there okay so the next item are the wood or next few items are the wood decor sorry I have everything like in a basket so that way you're not hearing like crinkling bags but some stuff is in bags so I picked up two of the bunny shapes and four of the egg shapes maybe I think I picked up five of the eggs yeah I picked up five of the eggs because I have an idea for these um, the bunny is not so much but I figured I might as well pick up two just in case. You can use these for so many different things, so many different options. You can leave them plain and just put them in a tiered tray. It just depends. So, picked up those. And, like, they have... This was a new item. I think it started in fall with the pumpkins. And then Christmas came with the trees and the, like, stars and whatever. So, I had a feeling... Oh, and then Valentine's, the hearts... So I had a feeling they'd come out with something for Easter. But of course, every year, again, this is nothing new. The color your own ornaments. Now they have stepped up their game and started putting eight in a pack instead of five. There was always eight in a pack, but I feel like with the dollar, actually I know for a fact, with the dollar 25 increase the manager told me that they're able to buy better items so we're looking at it as such a horrible thing however they are getting better products for the store and i've already seen better products like since the price change so this is one of them i mean they never had huge eggs like this um any year before I've seen eggs but they were a lot smaller and never ate in a pack so I don't know sometimes you have to like look at the silver lining in situations and I know it's really easy to get upset and bend out of shape but sometimes there's a reason for these things so two packs of those I picked up I picked up one pack of bunnies sorry I don't know why I do that <laughs> One pack of bunnies, again, eight, and they are good size as well, comparable to the egg. And then I also picked up these cute little wooden ornaments. So I picked up a pack of bunnies, and they got that shape of the bunny down so good. I'm actually very impressed because... I don't know, I've seen some Dollar Tree bunnies that are kind of like wonky, you know, but 
<laughs> these are super cute and you get 14 in a pack they're a really good size so I got the bunnies the eggs the carrots and then last but not least the chicks now I don't know if I would use these I I have a hard time like seeing cutesy things like this and like being like oh that would look cute here or that would look cute. I don't know I'm cutesy things like this my eyes just don't gravitate towards but I did pick those up for my daughter next I've never seen these at Dollar Tree either um clear stamps so I honestly don't know how this would work I'm not into stamps but I think there's like a this actual stamp the handle part you can buy from like Hobby Lobby or something and then just switch out this part of it so like this you would just stick to that glass piece and then you'd use your stamp you know and then you'd clean it and then peel it off and use the next one I, I believe that's what these are for but again I'm no stamp expert so don't come for me and be like no you're wrong <laughs> anyway I thought these were cute now there were there were four different kinds again I'll pop it up because I did get a video of it but I just thought these were cute for like my daughter's room or something I don't know maybe no you know what you guys I'm gonna do a giveaway in this video because I have Dollar Tree items that I need to get rid of and you guys need some Dollar Tree items so I'm gonna do a giveaway in this video so be on the lookout for the clues um, I want my people who actually watch me to win so what I'm gonna do is from this point forward I am gonna put little stuff up on the screen that's gonna make like a short sentence and whoever gets the sentence down in the description box below correct will be the winner also I used to do earrings of the week and I stopped doing it for a few reasons because I want to revamp it I want it to be better I want to put it at the end of the video for the people who don't want to see earrings of the week that way for the people who do they can stay till that point but anyway I was searching for earrings at, this ear is like kind of slit so I was searching for lightweight earrings and I came across clay earrings now I'm obsessed with them so I reached out to this shop her name is Perna's Jewels she's on Etsy she sent me an extra pair because I reached out and was like look I'm not looking for anything but I said you know, I have a YouTube channel. I do earrings of the week. This was a while ago. I do earrings of the week and I would love to just share your shop and let them know where I got my earrings. And I didn't know if you wanted to offer my people a discount code. And I think she was a little taken aback. She didn't really know what was going on. But anyway, I explained it to her. So she sent me an extra pair of earrings to give away to you guys. So I'm gonna leave all her shop info down in the description box below go check her out she hand makes all this stuff you guys and I was just so grateful that she gave me a discount code and she gave me an extra pair to give to you guys so I will also include that in the giveaway I know that was a little long-winded I'm sorry but I did just want to explain that a little bit and since the giveaway was like a spur of the moment thing um, I figured that I would mention that so anyway let me show you guys these earrings just so you know like how pretty they are so I love the hearts the different colors you guys know I love pink don't mind my face breaking out um, with two houses I'm not like washing my face as much <laughs> Anyway, then I put the little, or she put the little flowers, which I love, I'm a sucker for floral anything, so. I will pop up a picture of a close-up of my earrings. I'm also going to have a Cricut video coming out. This thing is so messy, and I really want to get it clean and organized and, like, labeled and looking really pretty before we move, so I'm going to bring you guys it super easy Cricut tutorial video here coming very soon so anyway I'm sorry guys I just rambled on and you're probably like whatever okay so this was also a new item that I had not ever seen I think I've seen other people have it it's the buffalo check placemat 
in the middle it says you know family's everything but I was thinking I could probably like paint that I don't know I'm not too sure but I picked up one of those I thought the buffalo check was really pretty I don't know maybe I'll include that in the giveaway you guys will don't worry I'll package you up a nice box so the next items I thought were so cute dang it I meant to grab three of these because I have an idea but are these little wooden arrows one says carrot patch again the little detail is raised the little bunny and then the next one is the egg hunt look how cute that is now I wish they would like do it like this one goes this way and then the other carrot patch one goes that way so we could whatever but anyway so I picked up one of each of those the next items I picked up I've never seen Dollar Tree do this we saw those wood signs that they just came out with which I'm about to show you but I've never seen them do this before so it's like the MDF sign but it's like a faux wood grain like it's cut out like I don't know I've never seen them do this before maybe maybe it's just me but it looks so realistic like they're actually indentations it's not just a print on there so I don't know I picked up one of each all of my store all of my store had was the egg and the chick so I did pick up one of each I, I should have picked up two of each but that's okay if I end up using them I'll try to go get more but I'm sure they won't have them by then that's okay it's it wasn't meant to be right okay the next item now you guys loved that bicycle wheel the yeah bicycle wheel wreath ring DIY that I made if you guys did not see that video I will link it in the right hand corner I don't know if it's this corner or that corner but anyway I will link that video it is a brand new spring Dollar Tree DIY video so I did just pick up one more because I have another idea so if you guys want to see that let me know down in the comments and then along the lines of the wood signs blah 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 I picked up one bunny now I I don't think they had this last year either because this bunny I noticed is the exact same shape of this small one the only difference is this one has like a wooden tail on it and this one does not so I don't know I don't know let me know you guys but this also has the raised details the ears are raised the cotton butt is raised <laughs> And I thought that was super cute really good size and then this one is really thick this one is like the back side of the bunny so like people put these in flower pots and stuff like that which I picked this up probably for my daughter but who knows I might come up with something cute for that um, I don't know I don't know you guys but I did pick up that matter of fact giveaway giveaway um, I give my daughter so much stuff. I have enough already. She doesn't need this stuff. I just am always thinking about my kids and like, oh, Bella would love that. Zach would love that. Soph would love that. Whatever, whatever. So anyway, I always shop for them more than I do myself. But oh, shoot. This was the other towel that went with... Like, you could either do this or this. But I picked them up with the thought of like hanging them on the stove like that together I don't know but options if you don't like the buffalo check because I know a lot a lot of people do not like that so I wanted to pick that up to show you that there are other options other than the buffalo check in that design now this is also a new set I could only find the glove and the towel but I thought it was so beautiful with the truck. It's not the cheesy truck. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes Dollar Tree or even anywhere really has like this cheesy truck that's kind of like 
cartoonish and I'm just not into that cartoonish like kid like look if that makes sense I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say it makes sense in my head but anyway this looks really high-end and very much um, not kid like I guess <laughs> but it says happiness grows here and it's got the back side of the truck which I'm usually not a very big fan of either but I really was drawn to this with the beautiful flowers in the back and the butterflies, yellow and the teal. I just really love that. And then I found the towel, which this was the only towel I could find. I literally searched high and low for this towel. And it was the only one I found. So super excited to get that. Now these are like garden items again I've never seen these at Dollar Tree I am a gardener I have my own garden I love to be outside in the spring and get the kids involved and I usually start my plants from seed the last few years I haven't had the time to do it but I've never seen these American seed seed starting greenhouses at Dollar Tree so again I think this is another one of those items that is a little bit more expensive and now with the extra quarter they can carry because American seed is a really good brand and these seed starting greenhouses aren't very cheap so anyway I mean they are cheap but to see that at Dollar Tree for $1.25 if I can look up how much that is originally I will definitely let you know because maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing but anyway <laughs> the next new item you probably can't see it because it's clear but it's called a bell cloche and what it's for is let's just say you have a plant in the ground and either it's like not doing so good and you need to like basically put a greenhouse around it or if it's winter time or like you're scared a frost is gonna come you can cover that over your plant and the Sun will warm it up so that it doesn't die so anyway I thought that was super interesting for Dollar Tree to be carrying carrying I've never seen anything like that before so I wanted to pick that up to show you guys and then the next items I saw these last year but I don't remember seeing the tan bunnies so I know that these were out last year I think there's bunny gnomes this year I'm not sure I think there's bunny gnomes this year don't quote me on that but anyway I was hoping to find those but I found these instead they're super cute nonetheless got them for my girls Easter basket so I did pick up um, two white ones and one tan one and then I also picked up these green I can think of the color these tiny green Easter eggs they've got glitter I hate glitter so I would probably paint those over or you can always spray some hairspray on them or something um, but I picked these up because you could use them for so many different things and again you can change the colors you can make them to suit your decor um, so anyway I only picked up one pack of those but I did pick up two of the large foam bunnies. Now I wish they had like one standing up and one sitting, but you know, what can you do? Maybe next year, right? Or maybe they'll still have some coming. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I picked up two of those. I have an idea for at least one of them. And then I also picked up the smaller foam bunnies that come in a pack of eight. I used these in a recent DIY. If you guys have not seen that, I will link it in the cards in the right hand corner. But they're the exact same thing as the bigger ones, just smaller bunnies. And then I also picked up, is this new? I know you guys can't see it too good but it is the bunny wreath form from Dollar Tree and I have such a good idea for this so I don't know let me know in the comments have you guys ever seen the bunny wreath form it's kind of annoying I'm sorry <laughs> anyway picked up one of those because I do want to do like one of those like tool wreaths 
but I'm for real you guys I don't have the patience to like shrivel up all the pieces and use the chenille stems and tie it on there and like I'm gonna try it I really I have this beautiful idea and I really want to do it but we'll see we'll see so anyway I picked up because I don't know how much tool that thing is gonna use <laughs> I mean it is kind of small let me say 17 inches but does that yeah that includes the ears so the wreath is probably like eight inches or something I'm not too sure but I picked up 12 rolls of tool so hopefully hopefully I got enough so I got four purple four pink and four blue now there was yellow but I kind of wanted to stick to like the cotton candy color scheme if you will so again picked up 12 rolls of those no I did not take all of them I left plenty of other ones there was like four other boxes underneath so before we go any further let me just put that out there <laughs> all right so the next items I picked up were eggs as well um, I used these in my last video these are the foam eggs 12 count now I picked up the plain eggs last time and used those in that wreath like that Spanish moss wreath however once I painted these um, glittery ones I love the way that they look the texture so that's why I picked up more of these because I would probably grab for these next time so like I said two more or I don't know if I said but I picked up two more of these craft eggs just in case and then I've seen the laser cuts at my Dollar Tree before but I feel like these are new designs it is oh no the keys are not new I'm sorry but I can't find my keys that's what it was so the keys are not new but this little clock these clocks and stuff I feel like are new I don't know have you guys ever seen them because I surely have not I thought they were super interesting really really like the detail is beautiful so I only picked up one pack of those because I didn't see many and I like to kind of leave stuff for other people these were also new I've never seen them at my dollar store but even though they're Valentine's Day they're these cute little succulent planters I'm not really into succulents I don't know they just have a piece of foam like holding the succulent in place and they have hearts around them one's pink one's white and then the hearts are obviously opposite colors but um, I was thinking I could paint that and use it in a tiered tray or you know I want to make a new version of my 12 shelf thing that kind of looks like this I want to make a new version for spring per usual and then this one is the solid pink one with the white hearts so I only picked up one of each of those and then really the last two items I picked up I'm looking around like is that it is that it I guess I guess um the last items that I picked up were two packs of these chenille stems because I wasn't sure what I would need how many so two packs of those and I'm like they're green and red how are you not gonna see that through I don't know you guys I'll figure it out because I have made it before I know but I think I used uh, the other stuff the other anyway I have a mess today I did not get very much sleep last night and when I'm only running on a few hours of sleep I'm like <laughs> <gasps> delusional at points but anyway the last item I picked up were these beautiful roses from Dollar Tree I used these in my last video as well but they were a different color and I have an idea in mind again for these so that's why I picked up a bit of a different color on camera it looks pink but in person it's really purple so anyway you guys that was it for this Dollar Tree haul I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me as much as I enjoyed spending time with you I hope you guys enjoyed all those new Dollar Tree items if your Dollar Tree doesn't have them you have to travel 
I have to travel to the best Dollar Trees. I have to travel to find anything good. And sometimes you guys do too. So just know that I understand the struggle of not having an amazing Dollar Tree because I travel to mine because mine in my area are not that great either. So with all that being said, I love you guys so much. I can't wait to show you guys what I come up with with these items. So if that's something you're interested in and you're not subscribed yet, you might as well become part of my crafty family by clicking that red subscribe button and then the bell and all that way you're notified every single time I upload. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. The shares, the likes, the subscribes, like all the things in one help my channel to grow and help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. So anyway, you guys, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.